Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. All right, we are going to get some nice rain this week, starting off with a few thunderstorms for Monday afternoon. Not going to be nothing out of the ordinary. We're going to be looking at just a few of these showers, thunderstorms coming along, a disturbance into the afternoon and the evening. And before that, it's going to be a lovely day. We're going to be looking at the majority of the day spent with sunshine on Monday. And plus, we get the same temperatures as what we had today. And of course, um, you know, it's been kind of a struggle to get the sun out. So this will definitely be something to look forward to on Monday. And as far as the thunderstorms go, we won't be looking at anything severe, just isolated thunderstorms and showers for tomorrow. And we'll be looking at our next round of rain right around the corner. That'll be pretty much all day on Wednesday. I'll show you that here in a second. And and another round this upcoming weekend. So the parade of cold fronts coming our way in southern New England, delivering a, a good amount of rain. So, I mean, of course, with the thunderstorms, we could see some localized areas getting a, a tenth or a quarter inch of rain. Here's a look at what we got going on right now. Just peanuts for tonight. A couple spot showers out there across western Connecticut. And that'll be something we see just kind of pushing over across the state over the next several hours, maybe after midnight, a few of those spot showers as well. Here's a look at once more the outline for tomorrow. We're looking at dry conditions for sure through noon, and then we'll see a nice disturbance taking advantage of some nice buoyancy in the air, so producing a few thunderstorms across the Litchfield Hills for sure, and we'll be looking at some of those hit or miss showers pushing across the Connecticut River Valley and eventually some leftovers for southeast Connecticut by the end of the evening. A look at the bigger picture, plenty of showers coming across Pennsylvania and New York, and a couple of those showers have made to Connecticut, and so we're just on the fringe of the possibility of getting any of those meaningful showers. That's for tonight. Now I want to go over what's happening in the middle of the week on Wednesday. This is a look at 11 a.m. Lots of rain out there, as you can see, and then we're looking at very good rain chances by the afternoon. And all things considered, this is a relatively swift moving front, but it's going to be raining pretty much during the daylight hours. So we're not going to see the sun on Wednesday. It'll be basically raining from the time you're going to work and the time you're getting out of work. So a good day to bring the umbrella. And it also looks like it's going to be quite windy once we get into Thursday as well. We'll be looking at some borderline damaging winds as this front exits. So uh, at the very least, a very breezy uh, day on Thursday. The wind's uh, enough to give uh, to make it a bit annoying outside as far as that is concerned. Here's a look at New Haven. Uh, 61 degrees at the moment. Southwest breeze, 8 miles per hour. 63 in Windsor Locks. We've got 50s, 60s along the shoreline. 59 in Willimantic. So a nice evening out there, especially with the winds not being too strong. 40 degrees for the overnight low in Hartford. 39 in Enfield. Look for just a couple of showers out there and our high temperatures are looking good for tomorrow up to 66 degrees in Hartford. Here's a look at the early morning 7 day forecast. We're going to see a good amount of sunshine once we get to Tuesday. Looking forward to that. Rain on Wednesday, and then we have another chance of rain for this upcoming weekend. It looks like Saturday should be largely dry. Maybe the showers start Saturday evening, but it looks like as of right now, we'll see some showers for the end of the weekend on Sunday.